Everybody tells you that the hybrid is the easiest club to hit, but you continuously top it and hit it all over the place. What is going on? Well, I'm going to give you the answers and help you start taking this club, which is the easiest club to hit, and start getting it in the air. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And this club right here, it's a hybrid. And it is one of the best designs that we have come across in golf and is really helping a lot of golfers. But a lot of you out there, you're topping it. So what is going on? Well, I'm gonna share with you a couple reasons as to why you're topping it. Now, the first one has to do with weight shift, okay? Because the thing is, is when you're hitting a good hybrid, you should be catching the ball right at the bottom of your swing arc. All right, and so when you're hitting an iron, of course, what are you doing? You're hitting a little bit more down on it. And when you're hitting your driver, you're hitting a little bit more up on it. But the hybrid is right at the bottom, right at the bottom. So how do we do that? Well, the first place you gotta look is in your weight shift. So I've got my live view set up here. I love this live view. It's a great device for practicing. And I've got the red line here. You've seen this red line on there a lot on my videos, okay? Because <clears throat> we talk a lot about weight shift. But if you're topping it, here's what a lot of you are doing. In the transition, your lead hip is moving back and away from the target. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit a shot here. And I'm gonna try to keep it into the net, and not hit it all over the place. Here we go. I'm right here, and I go back and this way. Now you'll see this finish, all right? So I'm back and away from that red line. When your weight moves backwards, okay, when your weight moves backwards, the bottom of your swing moves backwards. Okay, it can also cause you to slice. If you're slicing your hybrid, that could be a place to look. So what should you be doing? Well, if you've watched any of my videos already and you've subscribed to our channel, you know the answer to this. All right, you know that your weight should be going a little bit forward. And when it goes forward, that helps move the bottom of your swing a little bit forward. So let's go ahead and hit one. Here we go. Set up. Move more forward. Boom. That helps me move the bottom of my swing forward. So the first place you're going to look at is the transition. And I'm going to give you a nice, little, a nice little tip here at the end to kind of tie all this together. Now the second place that I want you to look, I mean, let's say your weight shift is pretty good, but you're still topping it. The second place to look, and this is the most obvious, okay, is ball position, all right? Some of you just simply have the ball in the wrong spot. You have the ball too far forward in your stance. You have it up there like a driver, so you've got it way up off your lead arm. It's way up over here, okay? And you're making a good swing, but the bottom of your swing is back here behind the ball. So what's happening is you're making a good swing, but you're just catching it on the upward motion. Or, it is possible, that you could have it too far back in your stance, so you're hitting down on it and you're hitting like low pull hook, stuff like that. So where should it be and how do we find it? Well, let me answer that for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my feet and I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to position the hybrid right behind the ball there. Now I'm going to take my lead foot and take a little bit of a step forward, see that? And I just step past that red line there. Trail foot moves back a little bit because I want that ball to be positioned basically between the logo on my golf shirt and the inside of my lead arm. And that's where that's got to be for me to get that club right at the bottom of the arc, right where the ball is at. So that would be the second place. Now, the third place that you can look at, all right, is simply swing direction. So we've talked a little bit about weight transfer, We've talked a little bit about where the ball should be positioned, all right, but also swing direction. Anytime we get a club that's longer, the natural tendency is to start swinging it more around. Now the hybrid's not the longest club in your bag, but it's, it's getting up there, all right? And when you get a club that's long, naturally golfers want to swing it more around. Think about the opposite, think about your putter. Okay, when you putt, you get close to the ball, all right, and the putter's really short, so you just swing it straight back, basically, and straight through for all practical purposes, right? But as the clubs get longer and you get further away from the ball, the natural tendency is to want to swing around. So that's where this yellow line comes in here. So if I set in here, put that right along, see my yellow line's kind of right along the shaft angle there, okay? If you start swinging the club too far in and around, see how low my hands went? They went back towards my hip. Okay, that's going to cause you to hit back and behind it. And this is precise, I just saw this so often, especially for older golfers, that I'm like, we've got to fix this. 
because this is killing people's gain. So we developed an entire system. It's called the vertical line swing system. Maybe you've seen it. If you haven't, you should check it out. All right, because it's specifically designed for golfers over 40. Because this is what I see a lot of older golfers, they swing it in and around because they lose mobility, stuff like that, that is all in the program, but we're not talking about it here today. But you want to feel like the club swings more straight back and more up. See where my hands went there? Straight back and up. Now when you do that, what's going to happen, there it is, perfect. The bottom of the swing is going to move a little bit forward. So those are the first three things you're going to look at, ball position, a little bit of weight transfer, swing direction. But at the end of the day, how do you tie it together? Well here's what I want you to do. You're going to use our right left drill. This is my favorite drill. And I love it for hybrids as well. So the right-left drill works like this. You take your swing and you swing it to your right side if you're a right-handed golfer. So it's right, and then I'm going to swing it to the left side. There's left, and I say that to myself. So I go right, left, right, left, right, left. And then I go ahead and grab a ball. And in my head, I'm just going to say that phrase, but just a little quicker. Here we go. Right, left. Now, what's going to happen is, this is the magic of this drill. This is probably the best drill I've ever, I've ever seen. When the club is in continuous motion, okay, all of those things that we talked about, the proper weight shift, the direction, they naturally come together, all right? Because every time, 100% of the time, when I have given this drill to somebody and they start swinging the club, never one time has somebody started going in here like this, okay? Or have they started going back? Okay, that doesn't even match. This is left, and then it's right. Okay, so let's do it again together. Here we go. So we're going to say right, and we're going to swing the club and move to the right. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up the pace. Right, left. All right, if you do that drill, all those things will tie together. So this club, it is the easiest club in your bag to hit. These couple ideas and this particular drill are going to help turn this club into the favorite one in your bag.